Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Current Affairs for you. Let's begin the important current affairs of 24th January 2021. Watch the video completely and share with your friends and do subscribe. First question for today is when do we observe Parakram Divas? Options are 18th January, 1st January, 23rd January, 15th January. Option C is correct here 23rd January. So we celebrate Parakram Divas on 23rd January. Why do we celebrate Parakram Divas? I will tell you in the latter slides. So we celebrate uh, the birth anniversary of Subhash Chandra Bose. So let's discuss the important dates of January 1st. 1st January we celebrate Global Family Day and New Year's Day. 4th January World Braille Day. This year we celebrated 3rd World Braille Day. So it started in 2019 World Braille Day. January 5 we celebrate birth bird day 6th January world war orphan day and journalist day by Maharashtra journalist day by Maharashtra state government 9th January we celebrate Pravasa Bharatiya Divas non-residents of India day next 10th January we celebrate world Hindi day world Hindi day 10th January rising day of army air defense also we celebrate on 10th January and national Hindi day we celebrate on 14th September 14th September national Hindi day 12th January we celebrate national youth day on the birth anniversary of Swami Vivekananda 14th January we celebrate armed forces veterans day armed forces veterans day this is very important 15th January we celebrate army day army day we celebrate 15th January 18th January we celebrate national immunization day national immunization day as well as polio day national immunization day polio day we celebrate 18th of january 19th january we celebrate ndrf rising day ndrf rising day ndrf stands for national disaster response force national disaster response force we celebrate 19th january 20th january we celebrate guru govind singh jayanti guru govind singh jayanti now 23rd of january we celebrate Parakram Divas and this year we are celebrating the first ever Parakram Divas because it started in 2021 itself so Prime Minister Modi addressed the inaugur inaugural ceremony of Parakram Divas at Victoria Memorial it is a, it is located in Kolkata West Bengal Kolkata West Bengal now this year we are commemorating or celebrating 125th birth anniversary of Netaji Subhas Chandra Bose who is he? He is a freedom fighter and also the founder of Ajad Hindu Faus. Ajad Hindu Faus. So that's all about the first question. Next question. Which of the following states signed Memorandum of Understanding with IIT Indore to build roadmap for Atmanirbhar? Options are Telangana, Assam, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh. So option D is correct here. Indore. When you read Indore, IIT Indore, it's a clue for you. So the answer will be Madhya Pradesh. So IIT Indore signed an MOU Memorandum of Understanding with Madhya Pradesh state to become Atmanirbhar Madhya Pradesh. Atmanirbhar Madhya Pradesh which IIT IIT Indore. Now let's talk about Telangana in recent news. The first ever first rescue and rehabilitation center for monkeys rescue and rehabilitation center for monkeys has been inaugurated in telangana in which district in which district in nirmal in nirmal there is a place called nirmal in telangana in that place first rescue and rehabilitation center has been inaugurated one more important thing about telangana is advanced hypersonic wind tunnel test facility advanced hypersonic Advanced Hypersonic Wind Tunnel Test Facility. Test Facility has been inaugurated in Hyderabad, the capital city of Hyderabad. Sorry, Telangana is Hyderabad. So in Hyderabad by Rajnath Singh, the Defense Minister Rajnath Singh. And also Lunch Box Scheme has been inaugurated by Telangana State Government. Lunch Box Scheme is for pregnant women. Lunch Box Scheme is for pregnant women. This is uh, inaugurated by which state? Telangana state. Next, let's talk about Assam in recent news. Assam largest river rope largest river rope has been inaugurated in Guwahati of Assam Guwahati of Assam it is almost 1.8 kilometer 
largest river rope and one more important thing raimona national park has been inaugurated is going to be constructed in assam it is going to be the sixth national park for assam what is the name of it raimona national park that is about assam next let's talk about west bengal in recent news west bengal state government is going to construct first deep sea port first deep sea port at tajpur at tajpur west bengal first deep sea port of west bengal is going to be constructed at tajpur which is in west bengal next question which of the following prime minister resigned from his services after public agitation against covid-19 control measures of the government options are florin situ uknana kurel suk ukna kurel suk miay sandu francisco sagasti so option c is correct here option b is correct here ukna kurel suk ukna kurel suk who is the prime minister of mongolia very important the prime minister of mongolia who is ukna kurel suk resigned resigned from his services why because public agitation against covid-19 control measures so the government did not take the proper measurements for covid-19 control and also for prevention and also for safety so that's why people agitated on the government and ukna kurel suk who is the prime minister of mongolia he resigned now who is florin situ florin situ has been appointed as the prime minister for romania prime minister for romania recently next miaya sandu the president the president of moldova moldova president miaya sandu francisco sagasti interim president of peru interim president of peru country next question which organization awarded the coal ministers award for 2020 for adapting best and sustainable practices for coal mining options are central coal fields limited northern coal field Lim limited western coal fields limited and option d all of the above so option d is correct here all of the above what is it coal ministers award 2020 coal ministers 2020 award why why because for adapting best and sustainable practices in coal mining who got that all these so central coal fields limited which is in jharkhand northern coal fields which is in madhya pradesh western coal fields which is in maharashtra these three got the coal ministers award for 2020 very important remember jharkhand central coal fields northern coal fields madhya pradesh western coal fields which is in maharashtra won this award for 2020 next question which organization testified indigenous smart anti air field weapon saaw from hawk i aircraft near the coast of odisha options are hindustan aeronautics limited indian navy indian air force drdo so option a is correct here hal it doesn't it means hindustan aeronautics limited what happened so hindustan aeronautics limited hal recently testified something called saaw what is saaw stands for smart anti air field weapon and this is testified in the coast of odisha the chief minister of odisha is navin patnaik navin patnaik is the chief minister for odisha next question who wrote the book the making of aadhar world's largest identity platform Op options are r kaushik rajinder sachar yashwant vyas ram sevak sharma option d is correct here ram sevak sharma wrote a book called the making of aadhar which is world's largest identity platform now r kaushik wrote a recent book what is it india's 71 here india's 71 here test journey test journey to trimp in australia india's 71 year test journey to trimp in australia this is written by r kaushik and next rajinder sachar wrote a book called in pursuit in pursuit of justice in pursuit of in pursuit of justice an autobiography an auto 
biography this is written by rajinder sachar next yashwant vyas yashwant vyas wrote a book what is the name of the book boskiana boskiana yashwant vyas wrote a book called boskiana this is a famous book on guljar recent book about guljar a famous poet next seventh question india's longest road arch bridge named wahru bridge inaugurated in which state options are uttarakhand meghalaya himachal pradesh andhra pradesh so option b is correct here in meghalaya what is it india's longest road arch bridge so the bridge will be constructed like this this is arch structure so india's longest road arch bridge which is the name of this bridge is wahru bridge inaugurated in which state meghalaya state next uttarakhand first ever mass garden inaugurated in first mass garden inaugurated in nainital district of uttarakhand himachal pradesh mandi himachal pradesh mandi topped in prime minister gram sadak yojana and the first state to have lpg connection to all households next let's talk about andhra pradesh in recent news so navaratnalu navaratnalu పేదలందరికి ఇల్లు పేదలందరికి ఇల్లు దిస్ స్కీమ్ ఈజ్ లాంచ్డ్ బై ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ స్టేట్ గవర్నమెంట్ అండ్ ద చీఫ్ మినిస్టర్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ స్టేట్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఈజ్ జగన్మోహన్ రెడ్డి అండ్ దిస్ నవరత్నాలు పేదలందరికి ఇల్లు లాంచ్డ్ ఇన్ ఈస్ట్ గోదావరి డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఈస్ట్ గోదావరి డిస్ట్రిక్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆంధ్రప్రదేశ్ ఇట్స్ ఎ హౌసింగ్ స్కీమ్ నెక్స్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇన్ విచ్ ఆఫ్ ద ఫాలోయింగ్ స్టేట్ Toshali Shilp Mela has been started. Options are Punjab, Mizoram, Odisha, Tripura. So option C is correct here, Odisha. So in Odisha state, Toshali Shilp Mela has been started. And this is 15th, 15th edition of this Toshali Shilp Mela, which is in Odisha. Next question. Which state government will set up India's largest multi-model logistic park? options are kerala arunachal pradesh goa manipur gujarat so option e is correct here gujarat so india's largest multi model logistic park is going to be set up in gujarat state gujarat state who is the chief minister vijay rupani vijay rupani is the chief minister of gujarat next last question for today on which date first ever treaty for prohibition of nuclear weapons adopted by united nations came into force so january 22 23 21 20 so option a is correct here january 22nd 2021 the first ever treaty for prohibition of new nuclear weapons adopted by united nations so this treaty was started in 2017 and now it came into force on 22nd january 2021 okay next 86 countries 86 countries signed signed this treaty but not all the countries uh, came into force not in all the countries this treaty came into force but 52 countries 52 countries sanctioned this means this treaty came into force in 52 out of 86 signed countries okay so that's all for today's current advice hope you guys like the video thank you for watching until then share with your friends